I have the pleasure of speaking with Anne Enright and Louis de Bernier on Five Minutes Alone. Did I blow it? I blew it, didn't I? Uh, Bernier. Bernier. No, it's fine. It's fine. Bernier, it's Bernier. Bernier. Oh, jeez. I'm, Sorry about that. Normally I'm Bernier A's or Bernier's or something in America. <laughs> Apologies to all. <laughs> Let's forge on anyway. Uh, first question for both of you Who or what do you read? Um. I've been reading a lot of Irish short stories in the last um, year because I was putting together an anthology of the Irish short stories. So, reading Marilyn Robinson, I really like her. Um, I don't think I read too many websites, really. <laughs> I read an awful lot of poetry, especially when I'm travelling, and especially uh, Constantine Cavafis, so the Alexandrian poet. Apart from that, I'm rather like everyone else. I tend to read the novels that people recommend. And if I'm writing a novel that needs a lot of research, there's plenty of non-fiction, especially history and travel. Of all the characters that you've created and all the subject matters you've written about, to which are you the most attached? Well, actually, I wrote a book uh, while my children were small, and when they were just babies, called Making Babies, and I'm, I'm quite fond of it, because it's kind of a record of their very early days, and so I can remember it, because you forget that so quickly. So I'm bringing up babies at the moment, so it's still very much present to me. Um, I think my favourite character was a fellow called Dr. Yanis, who was in um, Captain Crowley's Mandolin. And every time I want to write about an older man, it's always him trying to come back right, in disguise. <laughs> what was the best advice you were ever given as a writer? I think my mother said if James Joyce is worried what his mommy thought, he would never have written Ulysses. Oh, that was a great piece of advice from her. She's paid for it dearly ever yeah. since. Ah. Well, my advice is, is advice that I gave myself some years ago, which is um, do what you're good at. In terms of writing <laughs> process, um, how would you describe your process? Are you someone who flies by the seat of your pants, or are you a strict outliner? I don't. I, I, I outline, and then I throw out the outline, and then I outline again, and I throw that out. I mean, it's very organic for me. Um, it takes a couple of years before I know the weight of the book, where it's going. And once I know that, I'm pretty much ready to finish the book. So I grow them, I think, like mushrooms in the dark. I would give pretty much the same answer. Some, some of my books take almost no planning, and I just, they just come straight off. And but, I mean, every writer will tell you that the characters misbehave and they don't do what you want, so you have to change the story. Um, but the book I'm writing now, I've been thinking about for about 20 years, and it's, it's taken until now to get fired up enough to do it. Final question. Can you share with us one bit of information about yourself that's not widely known? It's not widely known that I'm actually quite nice. <laughs> It's not widely known that I'm extremely attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both very much. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Hope you have a great festival. Thank you. Thank you.